In this video, we take a look at the no-code builder Frontly and why it's a great choice for anyone looking to get into creating web apps for themselves or clients. If you're anything like me, you're always on the lookout for options to automate or optimize your daily workflows without getting bogged down into uh, expensive software or complex coding. There are a lot of no-code web apps builder out there and uh, I've looked into a lot of them over the past year looking for this uh, magical thing that would allow me to build scalable internal apps without breaking the bank. From uh, Glide to DraftBit to Softer to Bubble, I've tried more than 10 of those uh, builders over the past year. But a few months back, I stumbled upon uh, Frontly on AppSumo and I immediately thought that this might be exactly the tool that I've been looking for. Now that I've been using Frontly to build apps for the past four months and I'm gonna show you some of the apps Apps I've built uh, in a bit but before that I want to tell you why I believe Frontly is a great choice for those of you that are looking to get into uh, building robust internal apps and digitizing business processes while keeping uh, the solution affordable and really easy to implement and use. If you tried some of those uh, no-code tools and uh, you've had a hard time picking the right platform to, to stick to, I'll try to show you why Frontly might be the best choice for you. First let me quickly tell you what uh, Frontly is all about. It's a block-based uh, web app builder, which means that you have those predefined blocks that you can drag and drop and uh, play around with their settings and styles and the data that you want to be shown. And it uses uh, Google Sheets as a, as a backend, essentially, as a database, uh, which is similar to what uh, software allows you to do with uh, both uh, Google Sheets and Airtable. But I believe Frontly is like this really sweet spot right between the simplicity of, uh, of software and the complexity and, uh, and opportunities uh, of using Bubble. So in my opinion, it perfectly combines best of both worlds. So it's really easy and simple to use, but at the same time, you can achieve quite a lot of complex functionality once you start playing around with it and testing things out. The first huge uh, point for me was that uh, Frontly does not only allow you CRUD operations, it also allows you to uh, build a lot of business logic in it that you can push quite far in terms of uh, building custom functionality within your app. So it's not just a UI to edit your database, it, you can actually create uh, usable apps with it. Before I switched to Frontly, I used software to build uh, all my internal apps, all my uh, automations, and uh, pretty much my entire content creation effort was managed through an app that I built in software. But since uh, Airtable changed their pricing, uh, they're now like much more expensive. Obviously, they're pushing towards working with more enterprise clients and uh, don't really want to work with individuals that pay them just a few bucks. But uh, this was a huge limiting factor for me because some of the databases that they use are growing quite rapidly. And uh, this means that uh, the, the free limits in Airtable are getting depleted really fast. On the other hand, Frontly uses Google Sheets, which uh, makes it much cheaper because Google Sheets is free. Of course, software can also use Google sheets but the fact that they were built around Airtable results in uh, that some of their features don't really play well with Google Sheets. You can still build a lot but uh, at the end of the day uh, Frontly allows me to build so much more functionality and not pay a single dime for uh, for database. Frontly is also way cheaper than, uh, than a lot of those competitors. You don't really want to uh, to have to spend so much just to be able to scale your internal apps. And uh, Frontly in this regard is a much better alternative for me because there's not really a limitation in the amount of actions that you can take. And also their limits for number of users are quite high and uh, you can get an unlimited plan. Now, before we jump in and look at some of the apps that uh, I built with uh, Frontly, I just wanna point out uh, three main factors that uh, contributed in terms of Frontly itself. So the first one, one is that uh, you can use URL parameters, which is uh, something that most of those like beginner friendly no-code tools don't allow you to do, or they want to upcharge you in order to be uh, able to use that. And this is really powerful because uh, for example, in, uh, in software, in order to show uh, details from a specific record, you must use a detailed view. But uh, in Frontly, you can use a combination of URL parameters and 
custom variables that can pull out any data you want, regardless of whether this database is linked to this exact page. For example, here I'm showing a list of lectures within a specific course, but uh, at the same time, I have the course title at the top. And uh, the only reason I can do that is uh, I have this custom variable that uses the course ID from the URL parameters to pull the course name and uh, then I can display it up here. And that's the main reason, the combination of URL parameters and custom variables. The second thing that I really uh, like about Frontly is that you can work with, uh, with local storage. Essentially, you have this uh, local state that persists throughout the session of the user. And it's really easy to uh, store things there intermediately while you're uh, working with them or if you're only using them to adjust the layout, which is another really cool thing that you can do. And the third reason is that almost everything can be done with custom actions. What I mean here is that each button can have a string of actions similar to what you have with workflows in Bubble, but uh, you can also do that with forms. So for example, if you have a form that's editing a record from a specific database table, you can either have this uh, save changes button at the bottom, just save what you edited, or you can disable the default action and build your own action. So for example, here I'm using it not only to edit what's uh, in this uh, uh, record, but I'm also using it to adjust the local state and to navigate to a specific page. Essentially, Frontly allows for much more control over your business logic and the way the actions are structured makes them much easier to understand and, uh, and work with than what you get in Bubble. But at the same time, it gives you so much more functionality and so much more uh, ability to to adjust things and to tailor them to your exact needs when compared to most of the other like beginner friendly no code web app builders. Another great thing about the product being built around Google Sheets is that uh, a lot of uh, people and a lot of businesses already use Google Sheets to store data to keep track of different things. So if you're looking to build apps for uh, for clients, you can easily approach those small businesses and offer to build a nice UI and maybe add some uh, custom business logic on top of their uh, already existing database that's, uh, that's residing in Google Sheets. Frontly also uh, plays really nice with uh, automation software like Zapier or make.com. They have an integration with that to uh, directly call scenarios and they also allow you to use webhooks so you can essentially trigger anything anywhere and send any data anywhere. Over the past months, I've built more than five uh, fully functional uh, web apps for myself and for uh, other people. And to be honest, every time I build something, I learn a lot of new things and, uh, and I think of new uh, ways to interact with the platform and new ways to implement uh, the custom business logic that I want to have implemented there. Don't get me wrong, it's a pretty young company. Uh, they were founded in uh, 2021, but the pace that, uh, that the team is keeping right now in terms of churning new features and actually listening to, to what we want with the users. I recently joined their Discord server and I'm trying to be quite active there and I've already seen a few instances where uh, users would suggest the feature other users will say oh yeah this will be great and uh, then uh, Patrick the founder and the team would implement it in just a week or two which is uh, pretty great and I honestly believe that uh, Frontly can be a massive thing going forward but uh, we'll see now let's take a look at some of the apps I've built to cover real life scenarios the first app I want to show you is my uh, Minty Courses app, which was uh, something I created in order to share courses that I upload on YouTube. Because I'm logged in with the admin account, I also have this administration here where I can make changes, things like that. Users can then enter the course. They see some information about it, a video, and uh, all the course lectures. And I also have an admin section down here where I can add the uh, video URLs and the titles. You can then go into like a lecture, for example, and uh, it would load up the uh, YouTube video up here and also share uh, resources that are relevant for this uh, lecture. Those are uh, Excel files that users can download from here. And that's the main functionality. Uh, users can also uh, leave feedback in this form here. I also have some uh, external links on the site to direct them to other uh, resources. 
The next app is my admin app for uh, my content creation. So I have uh, a few things here and I'm still developing some of those like the leads management uh, one. But for example, for my newsletter, one of the issues that I send each Sunday is a collection of five links. So what I have here is uh, I can add new links. Then I have an automation that would uh, run every night and uh, generate uh, a short summary, short description. And uh, every weekend I can pick five links that I want to share, for example, from last weekend. And uh, I'm picking those five links and it would generate a draft for me where it uh, combines everything and uh, I can just copy paste this. Edit it, of course, because it's uh, the intro and outro usually makes zero sense. Edit the descriptions a bit and just share the five links for the week. I also have uh, an automation here that uh, every time I upload a new video, it shows up here. I can edit those uh, LinkedIn, Facebook and uh, Twitter posts. And uh, as soon as I change the status to approved, another automation would post to all those platforms. Another app I did uh, is a fundraising tracker. Here I have it with some uh, dummy data. So you can select the funding round. It would show you uh, where each investor is uh, from lead all the way to money in. I have a seat uh, investment here and it's a Kanban where you can move things around. You can also log in meetings that you have. You can have uh, meeting links and uh, meeting passwords tracked here. You can track all your investors. And uh, of course, the investor uh, reps, every time you interact with them, you can log an interaction with the investor and uh, what type of, uh, of event occurred. You can manage all your contacts and the investor that they are, are related to and also the funding grants. And this is not really polished, just build this as a test when I was uh, initially considering frontly for all my internal apps and uh, building apps for others. And the latest project I've been working on is this trumpet tracker. So a friend of mine started playing the trumpet and he's really diligent in taking notes uh, about his practices. So I built him a, a practice tracker, essentially. So you get some statistics here. You can go and uh, start a new practice. Your practice is in progress at a video. Obviously, this is not uh, a amusing video, but uh, anyway, you can pause the practice. If something comes up, you can resume it at any time. And uh, at some point you can uh, finish the practice. And then it shows you this form where you can say what percentage was you learning new songs and uh, how would you rate your practice. You can jot down some notes here and uh, save those details and it will take you back to the uh, dashboard. You can also look at all your previous practices. This is the one that we just locked here. And uh, you can edit them, look at the sessions, uh, the total time plate, uh, the portion that was new songs. And uh, you can also manage the instruments that you have. So you can add new instruments or uh, edit details about them. And those are four of the apps that uh, I've built using uh, Frontly. Those are my reasons for uh, switching over and moving all my uh, personal internal apps and rebuilding them in Frontly. If you found that interesting and uh, you want to try out Frontly, you can do so on the first link in the description. It's an affiliate link. So if you end up getting a plan, you'll be supporting the channel. And also if you want to hit the ground running and uh, get up to speed with Frontly really fast, then you should watch this step-by-step uh, -step beginner friendly tutorial on how to build an entire course platform to share free YouTube courses and uh, generate more leads. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in this video.